Hi guys and welcome. Today I want to talk about a video in my series for getting your 3D printer to pay for itself by making your own small items rather than buying them. The more you print rather than buy, the more you save. Today is all about corner protectors. Not protecting the corners from you, but protecting you and yours from sharp corners. It could be for anything. A dining room table, a bandsaw table, or in this example, an outdoor table tennis table just at the right height for young heads to bump into. Bumping into corners may still hurt with protectors on them, but better than bumping into exposed corners. There's no modification to the tables. You can line them to stop scratches if you want, and the protectors can be fitted and removed easily, given a snug fit. So let's dive right in. I use SketchUp Make 2017 Desktop Edition, but use whichever 3D design software you prefer. The design is simple enough for any 3D package to cope. I took the measurements for the corner protector I needed. As with all these things, measure twice and make once and I also decided how much of a rounded corner I wanted. I looked at 3D printing the protector as a single piece, but then hit some snags as SketchUp seemed to get itself confused. So to get around that, I decided to print the design in two parts, printed side by side, and then I would glue them together afterwards. That got around the issue, and it was such a simple design with no fuss at all. For the top, I start by drawing a 35mm square. I then cut out an 11mm corner of the square using the tape measure and line drawing tools to fit in with the table tennis table design. I then select the shape and make it 3mm thick using the push-pull tool. I use the SketchUp tools to get the shape roughly right, then enter the exact measurements while the tool is still active. I then use the Frodo 6 round corner plug-in to round off the edges with a 2.5mm curve. Link to the Frodo 6 plug-ins in the description. Once the top is designed, I move it out of the way of the origin point so I can make the bottom and sides referencing off that for better accuracy. To make the bottom and sides, I repeat the steps to make the 35mm square, 11mm corner cutout and 3mm thickness as before. I then create two extra guides with the tape measure and use the line drawing tool to create the wall shape so I can add 3mm thick vertical walls to the thickness of the table by selecting the wall base and pulling it up, entering the exact amount I took from the table. Once I have the piece designed, I then use the same round corner tool on the corners of this piece to round it over. Now the design is complete, I then export it as an STL file for processing by the 3D printing slicer program. Once that's done, that's it for the design part, so I'm finished with SketchUp now. I load up Prusa Slicer, use whichever slicer you prefer, and then import the STL file. The only settings I need are the infill percentage, the number of perimeters, and I choose PETG as that is meant to be better for outdoor projects. I then export the G-code needed to control the printer. Prusa Slicer gives an estimate of cost and time to print. I find I get a cost of around 3p per gram of filament used at today's pricing, 
and the time estimates are pretty accurate. So here it will take around 7 hours to print a set of 4 corner protectors. I copy the G-code file onto a USB stick that I plug into the printer and then run the print. Once printed, I glue the two parts together with superglue and clamp them. I had heard that superglue and PETG don't mix. Although it's a bit slippery at first, I haven't had any issues once the glue has set. I leave them overnight to do just that. Simple to create, a set of corners would likely cost around 10 to 15 pounds to buy and it cost me less than two pounds to make them. So that's 10 pounds off the cost of the printer right there. Once set, I fit the corners to the table and it's job done. There's much more to come in the 3D printing series, so look out for future videos. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you in the next one.